Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in again, I hope you're all doing good. It's an exciting vlog today, I'm giving away two awesome custom painted helmets. Thank you to Gyro for sending over helmets, thank you to Spray Bike for sending over some paint, and thank you to you guys for watching the videos. So you are actually in with a chance of winning one of these. So these are all painted, look, see this, check it out. A little bit more subtle than my usual paint job. We've got a grey and a pink, a little bit more chilled than my like Larry out there like normal design. A little bit of washing up liquid patterns on that, as you can see. Very, very subtle colour change. I love it. I actually love how these turned out. Um, and I wasn't going to make you watch an entire video before telling you how you can win them. So the women's helmet, it's the Gyro Agilis, Agilis, Agile, 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 something like that. And it's a size small. Then then we have a Synth 2, which is the men's helmet in size medium. And look, check these out. A little bit different, but the same. Do you like them? What do you think? I'm so impressed with how these turned out. If you want to win them, all you need to do is be a subscriber to the channel. Let me know down below in the comments why you want one of these helmets and you could be in with a chance of winning them. And if you want even more of a chance of winning these helmets, get over to Instagram, follow the link down below and simply comment on the post of these helmets and you'll get more of a chance of winning them. I'll be picking the winner at random in a couple of weeks. So there's plenty of time for you guys to enter. But yeah, what do you think? See, normally I'd make you guys wait until the end of the video before telling you how you can win these awesome helmets. You know what, I'm never gonna paint any helmets again, so you probably wanna enter this competition because taping these up took me about two hours and I don't wanna do that again. It took absolutely forever the job. These were more of a mission than painting a bike, but they're for you guys, so you're worth it. Get over to Instagram, comment down below. Either of those will do and you can win one of these helmets. So that's how you can enter the competition. Oh, by the way, these have about 6,000 coats of clear on them, so they're gonna be very durable. I don't wanna tap it hard, because it's one of your helmets, you know? If you wanna see how I painted these helmets and how we got this awesome design and effect on there, continue watching the video. One of you guys is gonna get this one, or this one. But I mean, you're gonna win a helmet. Right, let's get on with the video. Boop. This has taken me absolutely bloody ages to do. You will want to enter this competition because there is no way in hell I'm ever going to paint another helmet. Like the amount of faff and taping this has taken me, like just to do one. And that's not the one with loads of vents. I mean, look at the ridiculous amount of vents this has got. Right, let's get taping helmet number two. I'm not feeling this. So I've left the gyro lettering untaped because I believe it's stickers. So I think I can peel that off after. So we'll have a nice white gyro underneath. Um, but yeah, look how many vents. Can you see? Like, oh. But after two hours of taping, I have two helmets that are now completely ready for paint. So now it's time for the fun bit. We're going to take these outside, do the first coat. So it's going to be some like pastel -y colours today. We do have a clay hill and we've got like a pink. And I'm going to do them like, not quite sure what I'm doing to them. So my thoughts are, I'm going to do both colours, do a fade back to front. Then, wash it up liquid it, and then do a fade back to front the opposite. So hopefully it turns out all, like, cool. I mean, this is in theory. In theory, so in theory it turns out awesome. Let's see what happens in reality. Right, let's get outside and do some painting. The first coat is complete and I have a bit of an issue. Can you guys actually tell on camera where these two colours change? So the plan was to do a fade from front to back. So you have the clay grey to the pink. I don't know if you can see that. See, it's quite pink here and it is like grey there. And then I did the opposite on this one. So it's pink going to grey. 
So on the camera, these colours do look very similar. Look, this is the pink and that's the grey. I suppose you can see them, right? Can you see them? You'll have to trust me when I say it's a lot more obvious in real life. Well, it's subtle, but in a good way. But now, because I want these to be nicely finished and everything, what I'm going to do is, so I have a very fine sandpaper and I'm going to carefully get rid of all the overspray, any like rough edges. So I want it to be perfect. I want these to be mwah, spectacular. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go outside, we're going to drizzle washing up liquid all over them, which will mean that the bits in the washing up liquid will not be painted. Then I'm going to do a fade the opposite over, and then we're going to wash off all the washing up liquid, and hopefully it will leave a fade with a few cool lines on there. But right now we're going to get these sanded, and then we can continue with the next step. So let's get sanding. Right, so as you can see, it's all sanded, ready for paint. Oh, do you know what? The plan was to just drizzle this in washing up liquid, and then do a reverse of what I've already got on it. So it'll be pink at the back and like a grey at the front. And it'll be a very subtle like run kind of down it. And then I'm gonna paint it the fade over the top and then I'm gonna wash off all the washing up liquid and see. And you know what, the thing about washing up liquid, it does give it this weird like texture to it because once you've washed off the washing up liquid, you have like lower and higher spots. Some spots have two layers of paint, some spots have one layer of paint. So then I have to like give it a good sand and a clear coat and then lots of like sand in between the clear coats to get it like a nice soft finish. So the whole washing up liquid thing is a right mission. It might not actually show off that much and it makes more work for me, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I wanna try it. So let's take this outside, drizzle it in washing up liquid and then uh, paint it again. But like so far, so good. I've washed off all the washing up liquid. Can you see this? It's actually got quite a nice little effect on there. It'll be a lot more obvious once I've taken off all this like masking tape and stuff, but for now, I quite like it. It's quite subtle. And actually, I'm dead happy with how this turned out. So now all I need to do is, all I need to do is I need to sand this down, get this like smooth. There's a bit like rough edges here, like a bit horrible. And they're still a bit wet, so I can't paint them, but them being a little bit wet is actually quite good for sanding. So I'm gonna give them a little sand. This will make them nice and smooth. And it also, there's a few bits that didn't wash off with the water where the washing up liquid was. So I'll just give it a really nice finish. I want to get them really smooth, so I'm going to do another sand after I've done the first clear, but I'm going to keep this clear on overnight. I can still feel some dampness in this helmet, so I'm going to have to give it a little dry and then take it outside. But right, clear coat coming up. Right, so that was a bit of a nightmare. The camera died, like it was too dark to film outside, but I did get a few coats of clear done, and honestly, look at this, look at this. Can you guys see this? Oh. My taping wasn't perfect, so you can see I've gone over the edges like a tiny bit like here and like, I don't know, other places. But on the whole, what do we think? Look at this. It's very subtle. It's not what I'd normally go for. Normally I'd go for a lot more like loud and in your face. Legos all came out lovely. Look, nice, very nice gyro logo. Um, yeah, like I said, it's not as neat as I wanted it to be. It could have been a bit neater. But you know what? This is my first time painting helmets. Probably my last. Massive thanks to Gyro for sending over these helmets. Massive thanks to Spraybite for sending me over some paint so I can just like continue painting things and getting all excited by it. Look, this one's white underneath. Can you see that? Very subtle, but it's there. The logo's still there. So we have an Agile S women's in small and we have the Synth men's in medium. And if you want to win these, all you have to do is make sure you're subbed to the channel, leave a comment down below telling me why you'd want to win these. And if you want even more chances to win, get over to Instagram and leave a comment on that post. Make sure you're following Spray Bike, myself and Gyro, and then you have even more of a chance to win. But yeah, very simple way to win. We'll be picking the winners at random. We'll pick one lady, one gentleman, and you guys will be winning a helmet each. Thank you as always for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.